grilling up some burgers. Gonna have some baked beans with it. And then we've got some more activities to go check out tonight at the iRide Rendezvous. Here's our site. We actually got into our site. We're right by the bathrooms. It's a nice big site. Mosquitoes are awful though. It's got a lot of standing water because of all the rain that's been going on this year. And it's just drawing in, I think, so many mosquitoes. Plus there's a lot of trees here. When you're at the back of the campground and all the festivities are at the front of the campground and you don't have a basket on your bike, this is what you do. Beverly Hillbillies. Yep. It's like those pictures you see on Facebook of people laying on top of cars holding down mattresses or something. I have my, our chairs bungeed to this and then this is bungeed to the chairs and then this is bungeed to the cookies and... <sighs> It's embarrassing. <laughs> a little bit of fear in me. And I thought, I'm going to beat that storm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave in the morning and beat the storm. Well, I didn't beat the storm. Uh, drove uh, from 6 in the morning till uh, 7 in the morning to about 6 o'clock that night. <laughs> Another deer. Another deer. Have you been this way? Yeah. Yeah, I came down and did a, a whole video on this stuff down here today. This is Lake. Wapapello. This is the dam. Not exactly what we expected. If you watched our previous video on old Greenville where we went down the memory lane, this is the dam that was being built around 1939 to dam off and create the lake. This all this area is was flood prone is probably still yeah is flood prone if you didn't catch that last video you're gonna want to go back and watch that because it is very interesting all the spots of the old green town of greenville and the foundations and stuff that are left and some of the history is really interesting the lake is beautiful it is not what we thought we didn't realize it was just Earth Dam. We kind of thought it was, you know, gonna have like, um, you know, like gates that they open up. If you've ever seen like one of our videos, it had like Truman Dam. It has all the gates where they can let water out and stuff. This, that's not what this is. It is very pretty though. And this is a really large lake, like 80, Hmm, what'd she say? I think I think uh, our friend told us 8,400 8, acre lake or something like that. This is right down by the old Greenville. And this is obviously the river right here. I like the sign that tells you we're 430 miles from Fort Payne and 340 miles from Stillwell, Oklahoma. Got a few more over here on this one. Little Rocks, 236 miles, and Natchit how do you say that? Natchitoches, Tochus is 471. Jackson is 50. Uh, that would be Jackson, 50 miles to Jackson, Missouri. It'd have to be Missouri. Oh yeah, and then there's Fredericktown is 35 miles, and St. Louis is 149. This area right here is actually where they had the Bettis Ferry, but this is also considered the historic Bettis Ford, and it is, I, I read somewhere, 
I don't remember which one or where I read it, but you could take the ferry across, which actually cost money, or you could ford across, I guess, on your own, and it would be free. Now, that is the new bridge over 67 highway, but there used to be an old bridge, a cool old bridge, and then they put in the new one. Quite a bit of Indian history here. Like, oh, I forgot. It's like the Cherokee and Delaware Indians like traveled, traveled through this area. And obviously this is uh, some of the Trail of Tears. As we mentioned in our previous video about Old Greenville, this area was prone to flooding, still is, but there is some flood marks up on the new bridge and as you can see, May 2011 is the tallest. I don't know how many feet high that was. Do you? But we're just, if you just kind of follow the camera over here, you can see hopefully how much it goes down, 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 down to the river, way over there. And the river is still down, probably what, five feet down that embankment? I don't know how high that is, but that's high. All of this and the entire campground would have been underwater. The whole thing. this goes. Um, oh, it's still going. Wow. up to the overlook. Oh. Wow, there it is like, oh shoot. You would think they'd have a fence up here. Well, there's the overlook. Well, here's the overlook. There's what we're looking at. That is pretty. see much that way a little bit a little bit of Jesse that's about it for your trailer or whatever it says thou shalt not poop 
in the camper. <laughs> Yeah, Lisa needs to win that. That's the <laughs> Water jug. Backpack. Yes. Life jacket. It's <laughs> Propane tank. I just found the instant coffee from the last time. Me too! <laughs> some of you need to take some special vitamins. Yeah. Chair! As in camping chair. Well, look at that. I bingoed three times. Three times! I have never won bingo in my entire life. But I won three times. So I got this which is a really cool like candle holder thing and it came with a candle and it smells amazing and i think that would be so cute to set out on our picnic table while we're camping and the light can come through the little design holes and then i won this and this is was a three-piece cutting board set but two other people bingoed with me at the same time. So we agreed that we could split them up and I took the smallest one. And this is a really nice heavy duty cutting board. And then right at the end of the night, there was three big prizes left. This was one of them. And I bingoed on this and I got this cool lasagna pan. I think this thing is awesome. And you will be seeing this on my Happy Place cooking channel. You sucking in cottonwood? I said, are you sucking in cottonwood? Oh. <laughs> Whoa, I gotta pay attention. I'm gonna run right off the road. I can't get over how hilly it is here. Is yeah, it is. Well, this isn't creepy at all. Oh, wait, I can't find my bell. My little sad bell. <gasps> oh, shoot! That was a bird. I rang my little sad bell. <laughs> This is where it comes out from the campground straight to the little town of Greenville, the new Greenville. We are going to go over here and get some ice cream. We're going to get ice cream right here at the Midway Drive-In. Just so you know, if you get blizzard at the Midway Drive-In. These are the smalls. Holy moly, these are huge. So Melinda got, I like it. Yeah, Melinda got, got the Oreo strawberry cheesecake. In a couple minutes. And I got peanut butter with Reese's. <laughs> So that one scared me when we came through the first time. <laughs> it's nice and cool in here. Yes, it, is. it feels good. Should have went to the store and got something for my brakes.
it doesn't look deep at all. How deep you think it is? Ten to twelve foot. Really? Wow. Oh, that's not good. Oh, there's something on there. I've seen some color. Oh, it's a piece of a lure. <laughs> More. What was that? Lake salad or something? I don't know. Lake lettuce. <laughs> monster hook right there. And a couple more little hooks it looks oh, like. Yeah. A green one. A oh, whole bunch of hooks that time. Well, look at that. Well, now that's a pretty nice little find there. Yep. Does it have a brand? It's Zepco. Oh, is it a Zepco? Yep. That is a Zepco Classic. Nice. Nothing on it, just the weeds. Nice hook to go with your new reel. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I see what you're saying. That's it. A bottle cap. <laughs> Been a while since we got one of those. What is it? Oh, just a piece of piece of metal. The rusty crusties. Looks like a piece of the reel. Oh. No. Oh, from when they probably built the dock. Yep. Yeah.